Hello guys, welcome back to Tutorials Point. Today we are going to learn about the nephron. Nephron, which is also known as the renal tubule and the uniferous tubule. This is the structure of nephron. Now, what is nephron? Actually, nephron is the structural and the functional unit of the kidney which excrete the waste from the blood. This is the structure of nephron which is divided into different parts. The glomerulus, a tuft of capillary which is present in a C bowel which is known as women's capsule. Then the tubular structure, first tubular structure which is connected to the women's capsule is the proximal tubule. Then comes the loop of Henle, then distal convoluted tubule and final one which in which urine collects is the collecting duct. Now, this nephron is divided into two parts. First, the bowel structure which is called as the malfusion capsule and the tubular structure which is called as the nephric tubule. Let's learn each one of them one by one. First, let's talk about the malfusion capsule. Can you see here? It's like a bowl, a sieve bowl in which a tuft of capillaries are present. This bowl is known as the woman's capsule and tuft of capillaries are known as the glomerulus. Let's first talk, of, talk about the woman's capsule. First of all, let's learn why this woman's capsule is named so. Actually, it is named on, the, on its scientist Sir William Bowman who discovered this Bowman's capsule for the first time. Now, this Bowman's capsule, the outer part or outer bowel is made up of two layers. First, the parietal layer. Second, the visceral layer. We know parietal layer means the outer layer. So, the outer layer of this cup or the Bowman's capsule is made up of squamous epithelial. The internal lining which is called as visceral lining is actually connected here with the glomerulus. The tuft of capillaries here you can see. This tuft of capillary contains a special type of cells called as porocytes. These cells are called as porocytes because they look like different small foot like structure pedicels. Here you can see if I see a cut part of this structure then the visceral layer of the uh, of this Bowman's capsule will look like a foot like structure. So two layers are present on the Bowman's capsule. First parietal the outer which is made up of squamous epithelial. The visceral layer which is surrounded by the glomerulus and contain a special type of cell known as the podocyte. Podocyte means something which is looking like the pedicels or foot like structure. Now, let's come to the malfusion capsule. Inside that comes a glomerulus. Glomerulus means a tuft of capillaries. Blood enters through the afferent arterioles and move out through the afferent arteriole. Next thing, this glomerulus is also made up of three layers. First, in inner endothelium, the inner layer, which contains the fenestrine, which prevent the filtration of blood cells, but allows the plasma cells. Third layer, this layer, you can see, it's the internal layer, which contain the fenestrine, which allow the plasma, but not the blood cell. Second layer, the middle lamellar layer, contains the contains a special type of cells which prevent the filtration of larger protein. The last one which we have which we already talked about the last layer which is called as outer epithelial layer contains pedicel like structure and in between these pedicel slits are present. A slit membrane is present which prevent the medium size protein to enter. So, three layers are present in the glomerulus layer. First, in inner endothelium, middle basement and last the outer epithelium. The inner endothelium contains a fenestry. The middle layer prevent the larger protein to enter and the outer epithelium which contains uh, foot-like structure. In between this 
foot like structure slit is present which prevent larger protein to enter larger and medium sized protein to enter so in this video we have talked about the structure of nephron the glomerulus structure the movement capsule in the next video we will talk about the tubular structure of the nephron i hope you understand the concept of the glomerulus and bowman's capsule thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning